At the Far Out Apple event this month, Apple unveiled iPhone 14 and iPhone 14 Plus with very few upgrades. While iPhone 14 Pro and iPhone 14 Pro Max come with a dynamic island pill screen for alerts and background activity, a brighter display with AOD and an A16 Bionic chipset. Officially, the A16 Bionic has the same GPU and neural engine cores as last year's O15 Bionic. And thanks to TSMC's N4 with about a 6% density increase, the CPU packs nearly 16 billion transistors, increased from 15 billion on A15 Bionic. Now the performance of iPhone 14 Pro Max's Apple A16 Bionic GPUNT scores unveiled. A16 Bionic's single-core and multi-core scores are 1879 and 4664 respectively. In addition, Geekbench also revealed that Apple 16 Bionic's CPU frequency, which reached 3.46 GHz while A15 Bionic is 3.23 GHz, while the machine runs EOS 16 and still has 6 GB RAM. Of course, the performance improvement is not as much as we all expected, but this generation of A16 does bring lower power consumption. Compared with the Android, A16 is far ahead of Snapdragon 8 Plus GEN1 and Dimensity 9000 Plus. Now it's time for Apple A16 Bionic and Tutu benchmark score. And Tutu found the iPhone 14 Pro and iPhone 14 Pro Max, both of which are top of the line models with 6 GB of RAM and 1 TB of storage. The iPhone 14 Pro and Tutu benchmark has a total runtime score of 9,78,147, while the iPhone 14 Pro Max has a total runtime score of 9,72,936, an increase of 18.8% compared to the iPhone 13 Pro series, a rise in line with expectations. Among them, CPU performance increased by 17% and GPU performance increased by as much as 28%, which should be the highest GPU performance improvement in these years. Apple in the launch are not willing to mention more, is simply too capricious, iPhone 14 Pro family true fragrance warning. Combined with Apple's announcement of the launch, the A16 processor was built by TSMC, the manufacturing process was upgraded to 4NM. Integrating 16 billion transistors, as a reference, the A15 processor with a 5nm process integrated 15 billion transistors. The CPU still uses a 6-core design, including two performance cores and four energy-efficient cores. The official said the new energy cores in peak performance has been further improved, and power consumption compared to the A15 fell by 20%. Energy-efficient cores power consumption is claimed to be only one-third of the competition. The advantages of the 4NM process is evident. The GPU is designed with five cores, the performance is not given any clear statement, and the focus should also be on optimizing power consumption. But from the current point of view, the performance improvement is also relatively large. The neural network engine still uses the same 16-core design as the A15. With an increase in arithmetic power from 15.8 trillion times per second to 17 trillion times per second. A theoretical increase in arithmetic power of nearly 8%. So the question is, are you still satisfied with the performance of the A16 processor? Do let us know in the comments section below. With that being said I will see you guys later.